Hello everyone, today I will show you how to work with MIDI and instrument tracks in Cubase. So there are multiple ways to work with instrument and MIDI tracks in Cubase. The first option would be to just use instrument tracks without any MIDI tracks at all. And to do so we have to create a new instrument track, so we right click in this area, just how we did it with the audio tracks in the previous video. And uh, now we can select the player we want to use. I will just use Contact 5 for this demonstration. And now I'm going to load a piano. And now if the instrument track is selected and record is enabled, I can play this piano. So if you want to work this way, there is a very cool feature in Cubase that makes uh, many things a bit easier. So if you right click on the instrument track, there's an option that says disable track. And if we click on it, the uh, track, the instrument track becomes a bit darker. Uh, and that means that now this instrument won't use any RAM or CPU at all. So it just it doesn't take any resources of your PC. And if you right click on it again and select enable track, it will load the instrument in the background. And now after loading has finished, it is ready to be played again. So the second option would be to work with instrument and MIDI tracks together. So for that, I will just open our contact instance again and I will load another instrument. Let's just use some strings. And as you can see, our piano is now set to MIDI channel one and the strings are set to MIDI channel two. So I will create two MIDI tracks and uh, now make sure that they are set to the correct instrument track. Uh, normally you would name your instrument track accordingly to what you want to do uh, and then set the MIDI channels to 1 and 2 and now if I hit record and play the first MIDI channel I can play the piano and if I select the second MIDI channel and hit record I can play the strings. So there's a pretty cool feature in Cubase which I want to show you. Uh, go to Edit and Preferences and under Project and Mix Console you have the option Enable Record on Selected MIDI Track. This also goes for audio tracks. Um, enable it, apply, OK. And so now every time you select a MIDI channel it will automatically go into record mode so you don't have to set it to record manually again. And that's how you work with uh, MIDI channels and uh, instrument tracks together. So I hope this video was helpful to you and if you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel. If you have any other questions about Cubase or if you have any topics you would like to see more videos about in the future, please let me know down below in the comments and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye!